sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew an elastic waistband with no casing. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got an example of an elastic waistband and as you can see it doesn't really look as though there is any elastic in there and what this is is because there is no casing and what a casing is is when you've got the elastic running through the waistband and it usually is stitched on top and stitched on at the bottom and the, the elastic is funneled through but in this case where you don't have an elastic casing what happens it is actually sewn to the top of the garment then tucked inside kept loose so therefore you've got the elastication inside of the garment without any of the gathers to the front here I've got an example of um, a waistline and we're talking about the top of the edge here and the elastic is going to be put into it so there's going to be a covering like so now your choice of um, fabric is important this is a stretch fabric and it's more effective with a stretch fabric now the width of your elastic is going to be the same as your stretch waistline on your garment and all you need to make sure that your elastic that you put around your waist make sure it's comfortable and then you overlap it by 2.5 centimeters or an inch and then zigzag it into position so it stays the first step is to insert the elastic into the garment and if you have seam in your garment there could be in this case there's only one there could be two there could be four the previous one there was only four so you're going to pin it into place you kind of divide it up into two or four and that one into place there I've made my elastic just slightly smaller than the waistline of the garment it's only slightly so just roughly measure it because remember you're not stretching the elastic in this case because the elastic stretches with the actual fabric because I'm working with a, fab a stretch fabric remember and that is placed into position and it's just a case of me taking it over to my sewing machine and sewing that into place I'm using a ballpoint needle and remember I'm not going to stretch the elastic in order for it to fit around the waistline so it's just a case of doing a zigzag stitch quite close to the edge I'm just going to do this all the way around you could also overlock this as well it's exactly the same procedure as if you were using a sewing machine using your overlocker or serger so I'm not stretching the elastic and it's just a nice and easy sewing action. The elastic is now inside of the garment and the next thing to do, I'll just show you the stretch. So they're both stretching together. And we're gonna keep the elastic inside. What we need to do is turn the inside of the garment, like so. And then once you've got it nicely in position and you can feel the edge of the elastic on top in line with the, your waistline of the garment the next thing to do is, is a method called sewing in the ditch so we've got a seam here and what I'm going to do is sew right into the seam line here to keep the elastic in place I now have my needle in the seam line of the garment I'm going to back stitch I'm actually using a straight stitch here you don't have to do a zigzag stitch because you, you're working with the length of the of your fabric there we go make sure it's in the seam which is proving to be a little bit difficult to see yeah I think I've got it there I've come to the end of the elastic and then back stitch and then that's now sewn into place. There we have the stitch line with me sewing into the ditch and that is helping to keep the elastic in place so it doesn't come to the front of your garment and I've also done one on the other side. Now there's no seam here but that is just going to help to keep the elastic where I want it to be which is to stop moving about and to stay at the waistline. I hope you found this video tutorial of help 
and that sewing an elastic waist with no casing proves to be a great technique for disguising the fact that there is an elastic in your garment. Do subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV and click here the subscribe button for free weekly fashion sewing tutorials. If you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.